In the 60s, NASA decided to test the idea of putting everything that kills you instantly into one rocket. Achieving a specific impulse of over 500 seconds, the tests performed by Rocketdyne of the lithium fluorine hydrogen tripropellant rocket were hugely successful, producing thrust with almost twice the efficiency of kerosene based fuels. So then why didn't it fly? First problem child, lithium. Already reactive in a solid state, liquefied into molten metal it becomes corrosive enough to eat steel and pretty much explosive in contact with air. But fine, our rocket operates using a controlled metal fire. Second problem, fluorine. Fluorine wants that electron so bad it will oxidize oxygen. It will steal electrons from elements in its own group. It will set fire to a brick at room temperature. Yes, a brick. And lastly, the hydrogen. While not exactly easy to deal with, its only role here is to be injected into the exhaust to provide a low mass propellant that increases the overall exhaust velocity. And thus, our unholy trifecta is complete. Due to the presence of hydrogen, fluorine and lithium, a number of reactions can take place during the combustion, giving a variety of chemicals in the exhaust. The most concerning is hydrofluoric acid, infamous for the bathtub scene in Breaking Bad. So yes, the rocket spat out highly corrosive acid. The report on the rocket dyne tests make for insane reading from a modern perspective and the safety precautions were pretty much non-existent. They had a 15 gallon tank of fluorine as part of their test rig so this wasn't a small operation and the report frequently mentions lithium leaks. Some reports suggest that leftover fuel was disposed of by taking out of the back of their test facility standing a safe distance back and shooting it till it exploded. God bless America. On a serious note, the report from EPA notes that there wasn't even a record of what was disposed of in the burn pit, making it a pretty serious ecological hazard. Luckily the systems required to utilise these fuels were considered too complex and NASA ultimately dropped the idea of the rocket full of everything that kills you instantly. Perhaps it was never seriously considered from the beginning, but NASA have a fail fast mentality. You try and test every single possible idea, even the crazy ones, until you're left with something able to go to the moon.